Hello, welcome to this week's Hashtag Toe to Toe. I'm very much looking forward to this one. Joined by Spencer Fearon. And our special guest this week is Katie Taylor, who picked up a third lightweight title in Philadelphia on Friday. A dominant win over Rose Volante. It was such an impressive performance. Yeah, thanks so much. It's great to get that tour belt. And obviously, the ultimate goal is to become the Undisputed Champion. So I'm still on track for that. And um, I was uh, very, very happy with, with my performance on Friday night. And, it definitely was a dominant performance against an undefeated fire, so um, yeah, I'm very, very happy. I said you picked up your, your, your third lightweight title, two belts mm -hmm. here. Where's the WBA one? Yeah, I'm still waiting. <laughs> where is it? Yeah, I'm still waiting for that to be delivered, actually. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, I don't know where it is. Yeah, They're right taking now. liberties. <laughs> and while we're here, exactly. you might as well just give me one of these cakes. Yeah. My, my daughter, my daughter Tyler, Watch loves it. You might as well just give me this one. Is that, you enough already? As long as you give it back to me. No. <laughs> <laughs> you seem so confident. Have, have you noticed the change in that? I mean, you seem very calm, very confident. You weren't rushing your shots, you're planting your feet. Yeah. All seems to be coming together. Yeah, I definitely feel like I'm getting better and better in each fight. And I, it, when I did turn pro, I didn't realise how different the amateur and pro game actually was. And it is so important to actually develop your, your game in the pro game and to take to take your time. And I, I definitely feel like I'm a better boxer now than I was a year or so ago. Um, I'm definitely developing into a really good pro fighter, I think. Spencer, what did you make of Katie's performance? I know you're a big fan, and, and how much progress has she made? It's, it's very, very difficult to gauge someone's progress when you've seen like, the excellent stuff, especially like 2012 when she was in the Olympics. Mm -hmm. Then I said, this young lady's a pro. Mm -hmm. you, was a, yeah. you was a pro from then. And, mm -hmm. But then to see the progress now and what you're doing, that's what I'm asking. Mm -hmm. Like, do you watch like a lot of Mike Tyson? Yeah. Because there's certain times where you will trick and you get on the inside and you don't waste the opportunity of getting on the inside. Mm -hmm. she'll, she'll shuffle in and she'll create that distance and, and she'll break it down and she'll go downstairs to the body, mm -hmm. come upstairs with the uppercut. Mm -hmm. But with Mike, he didn't used to roll out. Then yeah. she rolls out and as you roll out, you roll out and she puts the weight yeah. on her back leg, but you throw back the jab. Yeah. That's very rare. Yeah. That is very, that's, that's very rare for any professional. Um, regardless of, of, of the sex, to, to, mm -hmm. to do those shots or to have the punch dexterity that she possesses. I knew from day dot that you was going to be something special, but you're doing it at such a rapid rate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what's going on here? Yeah. Like, you're just picking up titles everywhere. Yeah, that's great. Long may continue. <laughs> yeah. we, we often talk about, you know, women's boxing, and there is a real Katie Taylor effect. I mean, I spoke to you just yeah. a few moments ago, and you said in Ireland, just how many women now yeah. are boxing. Yeah, are amazing. you aware of, aware of that, of how much impact you're having? Uh, yeah, I think that's probably been the most satisfying part, part about this whole journey, really. Um, like I said before, um, every, every single boxing club in Ireland now is packed with female boxers, and um, so many talented female boxers as well coming up, and that's absolutely incredible to see. And even in the program now, we're, I think we're seeing the best of women's boxing. Um, it really is on a high right now, and that's that's absolutely phenomenal. It's brilliant to yeah. see. Um, not surprising. We've mm. we've had a lot of tweets yeah. coming <laughs> for you. Um, Let's kick it off with Pete. He says, how big do you think women's boxing can get over the next few years? Uh, and is it an ambition of yours to lead a pay-per-view? I mean, clearly that's a silly question, isn't it? Yeah, that would be amazing, actually. Just seeing how the, the progress, even in the last couple of years, um, how far women's boxing has come. And like I said before, I think women's boxing really is on a high right now. Um, and to, to lead a pay-per-view show will be absolutely phenomenal. Can you, can you see it happening, Spencer? And who, who would you like to see Katie with? Maybe a Serrano or a Brackhouse? I would say Brackhouse for the simple yeah. fact that the, the weights are not that dissimilar. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I think like on a big fight because like the, the rest of the girls on on, mm. on a second. Like if we look on female boxing right now, like pound for pound, you I'd reckon pound for pound you'd be number two. Mm. Yeah. Only, only because of um, uh, what Brackers has yeah, done, definitely. and she's won all the belts. She's doing something yeah, with you, yeah. right? Yeah. But her coming down in weight, I was watching Brackers earlier today. Mm. Your styles would so gel mm. because she's kind of loose language. Yeah. You're all business, but even though you're you're all business, you're very, very precise and mm. technical. A little bit of Roberto drowning you. There's 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 lots yeah. for somebody who's so aggressive. He's, you ain't got no broken nose or anything yeah. because like because well, of a head movement so good. Genuinely yeah. sat in makeup and said to Katie today, I mean, you've got the most dangerous of black eyes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was definitely swelled a lot after the fight, but thankfully it went down. But yeah, if, it, if the fight did, it was yeah. to see it did happen. That would be a pay-per-view yeah. fight. 
fight. Yeah. There'll be a pay per view and fight, and plus you could put on a on a on a strong un, on, yeah. on a strong undercard. And I've said this many many times before, and I'm going to say it now. You're here. I'm saying it in your face. We've got to get out of this notion of well, male and female boxing yeah. because it's just yeah, boxing, yeah. Yeah. and that's where it is. And when we see someone as talented as you do the things that you do, certain pro um, professional male athletes are not doing it. Mm. You do so. So you're head and shoulders. And, and I'm telling you, you continue going the way that you you'll become. Um, one of the greatest female boxers of all time, but without a doubt, you'll be classed as the greatest Irish fighter of all time, and you've got so many men who have come, but you will be, because you're doing things at an early rate, and you're, <sighs> seriously, I love watching her. I'm yeah. like, I do, I love yeah, watching you fight, so because I, I appreciate skill, but I appreciate yeah. your aggressiveness as well. Yeah, Absolutely, well, if we're talking of um, pay-per-view ambitions, where would the dream venue be? Lewis wants to know, do you dream of fighting at Lansdowne Road? in Dublin. Would that be the dream venue for pay-per-view or is there somewhere yeah. else? Um, anywhere at all really, but obviously uh, to have a homecoming fight would be absolutely huge for me. I haven't actually boxed uh, in Ireland since I have turned pro, so that would be an absolute dream for me to Have you seen the fan home. base actually? Because I was, I was there, at the, it was at the Copper Box then, oh, right? Yeah. When, you were, when you were in the Olympics yeah. and I saw the fan base that yeah. <sighs> That Katie Taylor had. I remember going on a train, going home with loads of Irish That's people, right. and like, yeah, because yeah, loads of them, yeah. like, they were staying down in Brixton to go and watch yeah, you fight. Yeah. Absolutely, it's ridiculous the fanfare that you'll get if you were to go and fight in Ireland. Yeah, I'll, I'll be, be booking huge. my ticket for that one, yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Every time I see you, like, at a wedding or something, that you just get mobbed now. <laughs> loads of people wanting your picture. It's brilliant. That's great. Um, Carlos says, Will we still see you fight Amanda Serrano this year? Obviously, you've fought Cindy yeah. already. Do you, do you think that could happen? Yeah, I think that's the, that's the, the, the plan this year. Um, I think she's a contractor to fight me um, at some stage. So, so she's going to move up in weight? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think she's, she's, she has been hopping up and down on weights for the, for the last couple of years. So uh, to, to get that fight light, lightweight will be absolutely huge. I think that's probably one of the biggest fights in women's boxing right now. But. Obviously, the next fight I hope is going to be against Delphine for soon for the undisputed title, and then if all goes well there, a big fight with Amanda Serrano will be absolutely huge. What do you think of Pursuit? I think she's a phenomenal fighter, a great, great fighter. She's been a long reigning champion for years now, and she's yeah. been in, in the pound for pound rankings for, for years as well, so that's going to be a huge challenge. Um, and that's why I'm, I'm taking that fight so seriously. I can't look too far ahead. And because I'm in, I'm, I'm in Belgium, back. she's a goddess. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, yeah. What, her what, bringing her fan yeah. for What strengths do you see for soon having? <laughs> she switch hits. Mm. Which is very rare in female boxing. Yeah. And she's comfortable when she switch hits. And like, but she's she's awkwardly gangle, mm. gangly, gangly. And then, yeah. then yeah. she'll she'll yeah. like make herself small again and then throw shots. And as she'll throw with her lead hand, she'll throw a lead hand and she'll turn it from being in an orthodox position and turn it into a southpaw yeah, position. Right. And she'll throw little sneaky uppercuts. Yeah. Like, but they're long, elongated yeah. sneaky uppercuts. It's, she's got a very, very weird style, but it's efficient and she's only got one loss on her career. Yeah. And for yeah, advice or whatever. Right, yeah, exactly. So. so she's not she's not a, a, a pushover, yeah. and that would that would be a a, a, a really hard challenge. But because yeah. you've got that momentum behind you mm. right now, and you are very persistently consistent with your shots. Yeah, yeah. I can't see no one beating you from right now. I can't mm. see no one beating you. Um, Lexi Doyle, this is this is quite an interesting one. He said, "What is it about Ross Adam that makes him the best coach for you?" Mm. We'll ask you that one first, and then I'll I'll, I'll come on to the second bit. Yeah, I think uh, since I have I've actually worked with Ross over the last few years, he's completely changed my style, and um, he's definitely the best coach. I think he's a genius coach, and he's pretty much old school as well, which, which definitely suits my game uh, down down to a T, really. And there's nothing fancy about his training. We have the same philosophy about training, and um, I love that that type of training. I really feel like I'm getting stronger and stronger, and then I'm better in each fight because of that. Um, but even tackling Ross is absolutely fantastic, and. Um, every like from day one, we just click straight away. I, I, I've enjoyed my training more than ever as well, which is so important. I think it's it's really important to, to actually enjoy mm -hmm. your, your job and to enjoy the training sessions as well. And um, I just feel like I'm getting better and better <coughs> each day with them. Well, Lexi also wants to know: um, Do you think you'd get more recognition if you trained a male world champion, Ross? Um, <coughs> I, I yeah. don't personally. Yeah. I, I disagree just, with just, that because I think you, I'm you guys. Say exactly um, same thing. Yeah, I'm not too sure, to be honest. Um, if you get more recognition, you're there, driving your, your, your own he, ship. So yeah, yeah. Um, he, he is definitely one of the best coaches around. He's he's definitely the best coach that, that I can have. That's for sure. We we definitely click so well, and um, I wouldn't want to, to do this job with anyone else really. 
You have a very yeah. tight team around you, don't you? We have, you I have a great team. It's a really small team, actually. Um, it's just um, my coach, Ross, my manager, Brian and, and Tomas, and my mum's always there as well. So it's a, it's a pretty small, small knit team, but a solid team. I love that one. Yeah. Um, Connor wants to know, how was it sparring Carl Frampton? It was great, actually. Um, I haven't sparred Carl, obviously, in a, in a long time now, but when we were uh, maybe 10 years ago, we, we sparred it quite a bit. And I actually remember one time I was actually getting ready for the World Championships, and Carl just came down specifically from Belfast to give me a few rounds just to help me out with, with my preparation. And he's just a complete gentleman, really. Um, they're the kind of spars I, 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 I absolutely love. Two of you together, he's a complete gentleman. You're a complete lady. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like great. sparring. I just yeah. heard, well, I watched recently a video yeah. on Carl Frampton's speaking about him sparring with you yeah. and he said that you put it on him a bit he was I, like like yeah, he was no. saying like you're a very special he's not telling us nothing yeah, that we don't yeah. know but he's saying you are a very special talent i, I don't remember ever putting an album to be honest what particular skill do you like about katie her tenaciousness and the mm. fact that she got very very good head movement mm. and she likes to faint with her shots mm. you think like <laughs> If you, if you were a boxing person, right, and somebody was to walk up to you, mm -hmm. not saying that I'm advocating violence, right, <laughs> and somebody would walk up to you and say, oh, I want to go in the gym with you, yeah. I want to move around with you, not knowing, because yeah, you're looking yeah. at you, what if you're a boxer, you don't look like a boxer, yeah. right? So yeah, I want to go in the gym. I said, all right, come on, this girl, Katie Taylor, come, Katie, move around with him. She could faint someone, right, to make them drop their hands, because yeah. I see you do it on a weekend. Yeah. As you think, you make people drop yeah. their hands. Usually, like people faint and they put their hands up. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's because they think like nothing's not coming back at you. Yeah. Then you come back with a hard right and a left yeah. hook when you do it. I'm like, and the speed as well. The, the, it's <laughs> the hand speed, but it's 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 not it's not only the fact of the hand speed, but it's the timing of her shots that really impressed me. Her timing is 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 really really good. Like she'll faint, she'll throw the shots. She got the timing, and she knows how to create distance. She creates the distance as so you get into punching range, and she doesn't waste a lot of punches. It's not just ah oh, she's a frying shot for frying shot. Shape. No, she's pinpoint accurate, mm -hmm. and this is what makes her special and like I said this was going to make your all-time great mm -hmm. period I've said it and I know that's what's going to happen yeah thank you what do you want to work on um I feel like I've definitely gotten a lot better with my enclosed work over the last year or so um coming in from the amateurs I never really worked too much on, on, on just my my enclosed work and that's definitely improved over the last couple of years and even seen in the last fight I, I I won the fight just from from that type of stuff and even from my, from my body shots yeah. as well so that's something that I, that I really have improved on over the last uh, year or so okay we're gonna finish on a, a a fun tweet. Cameron says, who would win in a boxing fight between you and Conor McGregor? How good would that be? <laughs> that would be that's a pay-per-view event right there, I think. Um, Conor looks a bit too big for me, I think, doesn't he? <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, what do you, you think? What do you have, you'd stop Conor McGregor. Yeah. I'll show it right now. Katie Taylor would stop Conor McGregor. We all know Floyd Mayweather took it easy with you for those last rounds. This young lady wouldn't take it easy on you. Conor McGregor would get stopped by Katie Taylor, especially if he had to get down to work away. We'd make it fair. He could come yeah, around to work away, get down to work away, get down to work away, and you'd, 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 you'd eat him for lunch, I'm yeah. telling you that. The, the seed's been planted. Right. It's kind of watched this space now, right. isn't it? Eddie Earn, you know the rules. Come on. Exactly. <laughs> See, never say never. Um, it's been a real pleasure. Really yeah, enjoyed that. Um, and best of luck. And hopefully, we'll see you out again in the next few months. Yeah, I hope so. Hopefully, that they'll find for soon if I can happen on, on Dancy Joshua undercard. Actually, so that's that's the original plan. So hopefully, that. that well, fingers fingers on. crossed yeah, for that. So you crossed. can add another belt. You can come yeah. back. So yeah, yeah. seriously. Yeah, please God. Like I yeah. said, you're my daughter's hero. Oh, thanks a lot. That, that means. No, and, and many others. Yeah. yeah. Um, thank you very much, both yeah, of you. Um, you. Don't forget, you can download the uh, podcast, which will be available on iTunes later today. Sky Sports. Feel it all.